South Florida today on NBC6 HD. Don't overlook the need to have your child's vision tested before they start the new school year. Dr. Judy Schaefer of Lens Crafters says regular eye exams are crucial to healthy development for kids, especially when it comes to learning. Welcome. It's so good to see you. Thank you, Trina. It's I great was, to be here. Yeah, I was reading a disturbing statistic that they say something like 10 million children in the U.S. go to school with undetected vision problems. Absolutely. 80% of learning is visual. So if your child can't see, they're going to have a hard time in school. They're going to have a hard time seeing the blackboard. They're going to be a slow reader, kind of squinting, closing one eye. And so now when young kids come in, um, what first do you do with them? Well, it's great that every parent brings that kid for the first exam because sometimes the parent doesn't even know. So the first time that we do is all of our pretests check their vision, they're focusing the way their eyes work together, tracking, and ask the kid if they're having a problem in school. That's the key. Are they having a hard time? Are they getting closer to the blackboard? You know that might be an issue. At what age should you just maybe, even if they're not having a problem, what age should kids start getting an exam? The AOA recommends the three years old. Most kids come into my office at five years old to have their eyes checked. So it's early and that's as important three, before though. they exactly before they even go into school. It's important, just like you would bring them to the dentist or the regular doctor. You should bring them to the eye doctor also to check their vision. And there's stylish frames now. It's not like the old four eyes. If you would wear glasses, people would make fun of you now. Ray-Ban makes sun makes kids glasses. Rep specs if you're in sports, even if you don't need a prescription for sports, baseball, basketball, there's so many injuries that you can get to your eyes if you don't have them protected. So they make cute ones, like yeah. these rep specs, basketball, baseball, tennis. Oh, those are really cute. Yeah, and then they have the band that keeps them on, so like if you're really they active, exactly. they don't move they around. Exactly, they won't fall off. Exactly. Now, and something like for that, kids. that has an actual prescription in it? This you can do with or without prescription for about $99. And the polycarbonate lenses that are impact resistant, so if you do get hit with the ball, it's not going to damage your eyes. Okay. And is once a year good enough for the eye exam? Or you ask, you tell I me. I think once a year is good enough. But if your kid is growing, like growing in height also, then some people come every six months because it could your eyes can change as quick as your whole body. But minimally, once a year. And even like you said earlier, even if you have great vision and you don't think you're having a problem, there's things that could go wrong with the health of your eyes, retinoblastoma, tumors, tracking problems. So you still should get your eyes checked regardless every year. And at what age? Well, daily contacts, yeah, they've too. Yeah, some beautiful now, stuff. Let me ask you about the contacts. Is there a certain age when it, kids are ready for contacts? I or think is, as long as your kid is responsible. Okay. Like I've done it as young as seven or eight, kids that are active in baseball, basketball, soccer and the glasses would fall off. So it's nice to have, these are great, the dailies. You wear them one day, throw them away, so you don't have to clean them. And sometimes the parents even help the kids put them in or take them out initially until they get the hang of it. The important thing is not to sleep in your contacts and not to wear dirty contacts because you don't want to get an eye infection. So I love the dailies. I wear the dailies when I'm not wearing my glasses. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? It's great that you have fun colors and everything because and stylish. Because right. it used to be that the glasses were so ugly when I was a kid. So that's why the kids never wanted to be called four-eyed or anything in school. And the cute cases, too. Everyone, when they pick up their glasses, they always want a cute case, too, because the cases are cool colors also. They're like neon. And for girls, you can have your fun favorite color with little designs. Pretty. Okay. Now, do any of these double as sunglasses? Can you also get... Exactly. You can get the transition, the lens that gets darker and lighter. And that's a great option. So when you're running outside during recess, or some of them have the clip-ons, like this one comes with a clip-on. So the magnetic clip-ons are easy to pop on and off. Oh, wow. That these. is pretty neat. And so now, town. generally with your practice, and you're located in Fort Lauderdale on, on Federal Highway, correct? Right down the block from... Uh, the barbecue place. <laughs> Best <laughs> ribs can run there for lunch. Just a little bit. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know, how many of your patients end up being children these days? I would say 30% of the practice are kids. And then the parents set a good example. Parents bring their kids. Is it harder to diagnose a child with a vision problem? Because sometimes they don't know that it's actually And sometimes they're malingering. Sometimes they really want glasses. They see their parent has glasses and they want them, so they totally will fake you out. They haven't <laughs> even seen the big E. I don't see anything. I want glasses. I want to look like my <laughs> mom and dad and wear cute glasses. <laughs> well, well, that's good that they're so fashionable that kids do want to wear that's them. That's true. Okay. And so when you're there Monday through Friday and it's Saturday true. as well? Right, on the weekends as well. Okay. Seven days a week. Fantastic. So call and make an appointment. Don't neglect your eyes also. Back to school. Yes. Thank you, Dr. Judy. Thank you. Well, Dr. Judy Schaefer's Lens Crafter is located at 1744 North Federal Highway in Fort Lauderdale. To make an appointment for a exam, just give her a call. That number is 954-561-5400. Roxy, over to you.